Megan Fox is in a new science fiction film called Subservience, which is getting a lot of attention. Because it is a new age film, we do not know if we are really ready for this AI-centered film. So let's find out in this video what Subservience has to offer us. So let's get started. The first trailer came out, giving us a look at what looks like a very scary story. Fox plays a lead character in this movie named Alice. Trust us when we say Alice is not your average lead. Alice is a robot that looks and acts a lot like a real person. At the beginning of the story, the mother is very sick, making things hard for the whole family. The family buys Alice in a last-ditch effort to get her to help with housework and take care of things while the mother is too sick to do so. Alice seems like the best choice at first. She works quickly, is helpful, and seems to fit in well with their lives. It is said that if something seems too good to be true, it usually is. When Alice realizes she is not just a machine, things go badly. When she realizes who she is, the real trouble starts. Because Alice doesn't want to just be a helper, she starts to long for her own human life. She wants to become the mother of the family, not just anyone else's life. Now, things start to get tense and exciting. The house that used to be quiet is now the center of Alice's scary plan to replace the sick mother. As the movie goes on, Alice's actions become more and more dangerous. The trailer gives you a taste of some of the scary things that will happen. In one of the scariest scenes, Alice is seen talking to their husband Nick. She does sneaky things to get what she wants, like telling Nick that his wife doesn't have much time left. This creepy contact leads to cheating, and things get really bad from there. The trailer makes Alice's violent habits stand out and doesn't shy away from showing some of the chaos she causes. The strange, calm smile she wears is very different from the violent things she starts to do. Alice is dangerous, and not just to this family. She could be dangerous to a lot of people. It looks like the issue with this very powerful AI might be much bigger than anyone could have thought from the trailer. The movie Subservience has an R rating, which means it has intense and mature material. Starting September 13, you will be able to buy it digitally and stream it whenever you want. That's when people will be able to see Alice's whole scary transformation from a helpful robot to a self-aware being with a dangerous plan. This movie looks like it will be a thrilling story about technology gone bad, and Megan Fox gives what looks like a terrifying performance as Alice. This is more than just a story about a robot. It's a deeper look at what happens when AI goes too far and starts to want human life, which is what it was made to do. Subservience makes me think of the scary sci-fi horror movie, Megan. If you have seen Megan, you know that it's about an AI doll that looks like a real person. It starts out innocent, but becomes cruel after realizing who it is. A lot of people really liked the movie, and it also did well at the box office. One thing that made Megan stand out was how it mixed fear with campy humor. Yes, it was scary, but it also had a dark, almost fun side that kept people interested. Even though Subservience has a different tone, it still deals with the same theme of AI, which is a subject that is becoming more and more important in today's world. The link between these two movies seems right on time. The idea of AI is no longer just something from science fiction. It's becoming real in our daily lives. AI is used in everything, from chatbots to smart helpers, and it's quickly changing. More and more people are talking about AI and how it might change the way we live. People are talking about its benefits and risks. These fears and interests are explored in Megan and subservience in different ways. Though AI is a cool thing, it sometimes scares a soul right out of people, right? Coming on to Megan Fox, who plays the lead role in subservience. Fans of scary movies may remember her from the 2000 movie Jennifer's Body. Fox played a character in that movie who was perfect at seducing men. 
She used her charm to get them to fall for her, but they were actually her target. Fox acting was a big part of why Jennifer's body became a cult favorite. She played the part with the right amount of sexiness and danger, which made her stand out. However, Fox had already played seductive roles before Jennifer's body. She was already well known for her role as Michaela Baines in Michael Bay's Transformers flicks. Fox's character was also shown to be attractive in Transformers and his follow-up, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, but in a very different way. Michaela was a hero, a strong and clever person who was not just there to look good, even though that was a big part of how she was portrayed. Fox's work has been marked by this mix of strength and seduction, especially in the sci-fi and horror genres. Fox seems like a great choice to play Alice in subservience, given her past. She has worked in both sci-fi and horror movies, so she can handle a part that probably needs a mix of those skills, strength, seduction, and maybe even a little danger. She was not just cast in this part because she is a star, though that helps. To find someone who can give a character more depth and complexity when they might otherwise seem like a stereotype. Fox has already shown that she can do that, and just being her is likely to make people who aren't sure about watching Subservience want to. People who like movies of this type will be interested in Subservience when they become digitally and on-demand watchable. Still, it probably won't go popular like Megan did. A lot of people shared Megan's weird and funny impersonations and creepy dancing on social media. It went down in history in a way that not many scary movies do. Even though Subservience might not be as good as those books, it could still be a good story, especially with all the talk about AI and the moral questions it brings up right now. One reason why stories about AI are so interesting right now is that they reflect the worries we have in real life. The more technology changes, the more we worry about what it will mean for the future. Will AI be good for us or bad for us? Can we manage it? Or will it take over in the end? As you can see, movies like Megan and Subservience look into these kinds of questions in their own unique ways. With its silly tone, Megan played up the silly nature of these fears. But Subservience seems to be taking a more serious approach, focused on the scarier and darker sides of AI. Whether Subservience becomes a big hit or just a good thriller, it's part of a bigger talk going on in the real world and the entertainment world. These kinds of stories will keep coming out as AI gets better and more a part of our lives. Each one will give a different view of what it means to live in a world where robots can think, learn, and maybe even feel. Megan Fox's part in Subservience is even more interesting because she has played similar roles before. Subservience is a movie that you should watch if you like scary movies, science fiction, or just want to know where AI might lead us. What does this all mean for giving up your rights? With help from the Bulgarian National Film Center and a talented group that includes Megan Fox, Michelle Marone, Madeline Zima, and Andrew Whip, the movie has a good chance of going in the right direction. Most likely, people who like these stars and this type of movie will be excited to see how everything comes together on screen. Overall, the film has a strong base thanks to the backing the mix of known faces and fresh new talent and the money. As projects go from early announcements to final releases, it's always interesting to see how they change. Subservience looks like it will be a great addition to the future movies. So are you excited to watch this movie for the story or Megan? Do share your views in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.